guys, what's going on? I'm throwing this little clip here into episode eight, just to let you know, you're going to want to stay till the end. Um, this is obviously recorded after the rest of the clips for episode eight have been recorded, but you're going to want to stay till the end. Lots of progress in this episode. Really cool things happen. Appreciate all the support guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Leave a like and a comment if you do, and I'll see you at the end of the video. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode eight of the Zeros Iron Man progress series. My IGN is Cares. You guys can add me in game if you want. You can also join the Iron Clan CC. A uh, big shout out to them as well. Uh, really supportive of all Iron Men. Also join my Discord. You'll see the link in the description uh, of the video below. Um, we just completed our 20th task in a row and received 220 additional Slayer points. So we're going to go ahead and uh, trade him or go to, I guess, our rewards. We have 935 Slayer points. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that's great. Um, we could unlock broader fletching. I don't think I need to do that yet. I actually don't even have a better crossbow. Um, for sure, though, what I know I need to buy, guys, what I know... I need, for a fact, oh, God, this is going to be tough. All right? This is going to be tough. Tough decision. Big decision. We have the herb sack. We have a fighter's torso. We have the slayer helm. We have full infinity already. I don't need to buy it from here. I'm thinking the elven signet, um, and then you can imbue it, and I believe I can imbue it because I have some dust. I have crystal dust in my bank somewhere. I want to try that. I want to try the bracelet of slaughter as well, but I also definitely want a bone crusher. There's so much you can buy here. <laughs> it's really tough. Um, we're going to go with bone crusher. We do so many tasks. Oh, we got it. We got the bone crusher. Um, how many, how much are the dragon boots? Those are 400 slayer points where I could find something in game that drops those. I'm not going to spend points on those yet. And I'm going to buy the Elven Signet as well. Oh, God, we just spent a lot of points. But a huge, huge upgrade as far as Slayer gear goes. This is going to help out a prayer so much. And we actually are going to have a ring to wear. I have not been wearing a ring for like most of this entire game. And I'm going to figure out if I can imbue that. Sorry for the long-winded first clip over two minutes. Welcome to Episode 8. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to try something real quick. You're supposed to use imbue dust on it maybe i don't know if there's any requirements or not we're just gonna go for it plus 10 max damage against crystal monsters while on task auto oh yes dude oh my god you guys are gonna love this when this video comes out <laughs> this is awesome oh man we are looking like a max like we are looking like a baller, dude. We're getting some real equipment now. <laughs> we got to get some new boots. But man, last episode you saw us finish a Barrow's brother. We finished Guthans. Now we have Carol's as well. Um, God, we just imbued the Elven Signet ring. I mean, this is terrific, guys. Uh, there's so much to do. Uh, I, I don't know what my short-term goals are for this episode specifically. But I plan on doing a lot of Slayer, some PVM, and we'll just see. I'm going to go with the flow. All right, guys. One thing I know that I am saving up for in this game is going to be the Ring of Wealth, uh, 5,400 boss points. That's a lot because currently I have 74 boss points. But to be fair, I don't boss a lot. I don't PVM a lot. I'm not good at killing bosses. I'm not good at PVM. So it's going to be a big challenge for me. But it's going to be well worth it. The Ring of Wealth has so many uses. And especially when you imbue it, it like helps your drop rate tenfold. I mean, I can't believe I just said tenfold, but that's the truth. That's the truth, man. And uh, I also need a dark light as well. Maybe, perhaps. But the two things I know I need most right now from this shop. Ring of Wealth. Probably Master Wand. Those two, the big purchases. But uh, that's going to be a while. All right, you guys, I'm doing my first ever tree farm run after they've already grown. I went from 50 to 53 farming already just from herbs and elements and uh, flowers and everything. But we're going to see the XP drop. Oh, 31K for a maple tree, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You love to see that. 
goodness gracious. Uh, we'll go trees. Falador. I went from 53 to 55, and we're about to get another, what, two levels here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's terrific. Trees, well worth it. The XP drops in this game. Oh my gosh, I love it, man! I'll update you guys later after my uh, after my farm run. Um, you guys, I literally just gained fourteen farming levels. I'm sorry, fifteen farming levels in one run. I started at what forty nine farming, and yeah, I'm sixty four after one tree run. That's insane. You got to farm. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. No. <laughs> What's going on guys and good morning. Just about to get a farming level, I believe. So that is 66 farming. I actually got two levels, I think. Oh well. I'll update you guys at the end of this farm run and uh, we'll see what level I get to. Well, we just did that farm run and we got 69 farming. <laughs> 15k away from 70, 1429 total level. Guys, we're raking it in. <laughs> That's another farming pun. Well, gosh darn it. I canceled out of it, but we just hit 73 Slayer. We've got about 20 crystalline bats or crystal, crystal yarn. I don't know. The two L's would make a Y sound. I know that, but I, I, I just call them crystalline because it sounds better. Uh, 20 bats left and... That's the whole clip. Okay. I can't believe I did that. Okay. <laughs> so there's a shooting star event. Uh, these happen like throughout the entire day. I right clicked it and I clicked teleport to location and it charged me 2.5 mil to teleport to Ardigan. I know it's pronounced Ardoin, but I say Ardigan because it just sounds way better than Ardoin. That just sounds dumb. But uh, yeah, don't pay the 2.5 million GP. Just teleport using the free teleports. That That's... <laughs> you live and you learn. <laughs> hey, what a time to record. 80 sh 83 strength and a crystalline key. Um, that's going to allow me to kill, I think it's the Heflin boss. And then once I kill a Heflin boss, you get this other key for a chest. I was told to stock up on the other keys. So I'll let you guys know when I finally do this like crazy montage of opening a chest. But you're supposed to be able to get some really good rewards out of it. Whoa, hang on. Is this it? Did I just get it? The, the Slayer's enchantment. Please be... I don't know if this is what I need for the... Uh, I'm here hunting an enchantment to imbue the magic short bow, and I'm also going to go and get Elite Void at some point. I don't know if that's exactly what I need or not, but I will let you guys know. I don't think that's what I need, but I'm interested in this. This might be able to enchant like a Slayer Staff or something. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a good drop. It's like 1 and 108. Okay, guys. Well, I was at the Dark Warriors in the wilderness hunting the Magic, short bro magic Shortbow uh, enchantment scroll to imbue it. And I ended up getting a Slayer's enchantment. 
so I started thinking, hmm, 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 what can I do with the Slayers enchantment? I honestly don't know. And I've asked some people in the clan, Iron, Iron Clan, and they weren't really sure either. But I was told to come get the Ivan Staff, which, by the way, I didn't know was technically in this game. I came over here to West Artigan and talked to Jethic, bought the staff for 1 million GP. I don't know if you can imbue it or uh, pay more GP to imbue it, but I was going to see if I could use this enchantment on it. Okay, that didn't work. Well, anyways, we've got the Ivan staff, and it's really good, so... <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? I just came over to the Slayer store, bought a Slayer staff for uh, 100 Slayer points, and let's just see how the imbued Slayer staff is compared to the Ivan's. I'm actually kind of interested in this. Ivan's trident saying, okay, anyways, we're just going to see this. So the Ivan's, you get plus 10 magic, defense, blah, blah, blah. So you get plus 10 magic. All right. Hey, the Slayer Staff Enchanted gives me plus 12 magic. Okay, okay. This may be better. Oh, wait. This may be better than the Ibans. This is going to be interesting. I may test this, actually. I'll find a place to use it. <laughs> okay, we're back here in the wilderness, killing dark warriors. I got another Slayer's Enchantment. That's not the piece of paper that we're looking for. This is actually a 1 in 18 drop. If you guys are needing one, you can go and buy a Slayer Staff for 100 Slayer points. Super easy to get. You could probably get that in like three Slayer tasks. And especially if there's the certain seed planted that gives you times two Slayer points, buy a Slayer Staff. Come here to Dark Warriors. All you got to do is find the teleport and the spell book and teleport to the dark castle. And you're literally right here. That's all you need. And uh, this is a one in 18 drop. You can even camp here with protect melee and uh, you should get it and enhance your or imbue your slayer staff. And you could have a good magic staff right now. I'm 71 magic and I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm still learning about this uh, private server. But yeah. Hey guys, just taking a little breather and I was uh, banking and everything. And we've got some ancient coins and ancient talismans to put into the uh, FOE here. Go ahead and burn all ancient coins. We're almost at 25k. After this, we should be. Boom. Guys, we are over 25,000 FOE points. We could technically, I think, buy Posty Pete Pet. I'd have to see what he does. Um... But as far as I know, I don't know if he's worth it. We might just continue to save. But yeah, pretty big milestone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got another looting bag. You cannot own multiples of this item. So it's just going to sit there. It's just going to sit there. And we got another Slayer's uh, enchantment. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. But maybe I can enchant the Slayer Helm somehow. But uh, <laughs> we'll see, man. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to take to get this uh, this magic shortbow enchantment I'm going after. I don't want any more looting bags. <laughs> Look at this. I just had that one disappear, and then I've got two more on the ground, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, I, I can't believe I did it. I opened a, oh, two hard caskets in the wilderness. I got Guthix Dehyde boots. This is my best in slot range boots. I'm not kidding. This is going to help me out. I don't have any hide boots at all. I don't have ranger boots from any medium clue scrolls. Um, I can't kill Cer Cerberus yet, so I don't have Pegasians. These are my best in slot range boots. This is going to be huge, man. I'm about to get Elite Void, hopefully on this episode. Guthix Dehyde boots and a magic short bow imbued. We're going to have a boss freaking range setup, man. <laughs> this is great. Yes. We got it, we got it, we got it. Let's get the heck out of here. Magic shortboard. Scroll, get it. Freaking telly. Yes. Yes. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, that could have disappeared, man. Oh, I'll be with you guys momentarily. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Uh, use magic shortboard. All right, hang on real quick. We're going to look at the stats of this thing. Before and after. Wield plus 69. Ha! Plus 69. 
range attack. That's really good, man, for a magic short bow. It's always been crazy how good a magic short bow is in this game. But check this out. You imbued your magic short bow. Oh my gosh. 69 to 75. You get plus six right there. Plus, we're about to get elite void. Man, we're looking good. Uh, this is just moments later. I'm doing my first ever Wildy event. It's the Corrupted Orc. I guess it's like an avatar, kind of like the other one. Kill it for a chance at Ancient Warrior Staff. Okay, so let's kill this thing, and I'll update you guys when it's dead. Well, this was pretty cool. Uh, Lucidity just completed, obtained all requirements for the untrimmed completion escape. So very, very cool. This guy is looking stacked, man. We also killed the orc and got two orcs keys. Have never used one, but I think I have another one in the bank as well from something else. But very, very cool. Uh, if you guys are interested, join the Iron Clan in Zeros. Really nice community. What's going on guys? It's probably been like a day and a half since I've been able to even record the last clip, but I am in between jobs right now. Um, so I have a little break, but I decided to do a farm run on this little break. And we just went from 70 to 74 farming on one fruit tree run. Pretty impressive. I'm going to have to figure out how to get some more fruit tree seeds and I need to figure out how to get tree seeds at a faster rate because I ran out of maple and willow seeds very, very fast. Um, pickpocketing the master farmer was working, uh, but it can be slow. But I know that Vorkath and some other higher, and I think it's wyverns or fossil wyverns, drop tree seeds in bulk. Uh, so we may have to look at PVM, but I don't know. We'll see. But that's an update for you guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, Tanner here with Morsic. It's I don't know why I said that like it's the intro, intro to a, uh, a video, but anyways, it's been like 24 hours since I've last recorded a clip. I have been thieving, trying to get some tree seeds for farming, about to go to bed, and then tomorrow I um, might do some PVM, but I know it's probably not exciting content, but just saying hello, and we got, wait, what did we get? There was a reason I started recording. What the? 84 thieving. That's what we got. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I know I said I was going to bed, but they just activated the uh, pest control seed. It's given plus five extra pest control points per game right now. So I'm doing some games with a couple friends. Uh, I have currently 155 pest control points working towards that elite void that I said I was going to get here in episode eight. So hopefully I accomplish that, but I need to go to sleep. Well, it kind of looks like everyone left pest control anyways, and I, I really need to sleep. Uh... I really need to sleep. Upgrade to Elite Void. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. You need a total of 200 pest control. You can't do one at a time? Uh, pff, I meant to use it. I, come on, just let me do one piece. For the video. Let me do it for the video. You're ki Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, okay, that was... All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, just doing a farm run. Look at this. 94K for a palm tree. And you get coconuts. You've got to you've got to farm, guys. I'm already 75 farming, almost 76. All I'm doing is tree runs. You got to do it. What's going on, guys? I'm actually here at DK's. This is like my I first ever enough. bossing thing. Um, my boy Serenade oh, taking me here to DK's. He said I could take Rex. I have him in a Discord call right now. Uh, we've gotten rock shell boots and rock shell gloves so far, but I'll update you guys if I actually get a good drop, but, uh, this is really chill and I appreciate him, uh, taking me here. He's taken on, um, prime and Supreme and he's given me Rex. So that's actually huge. I needed that. Oh my God. We got the dragon ax. What a big unlock. Uh, that's. So much better than the rune axe, and I actually wood cut a lot. I'm 77 wood cutting right now. When I'm AFKing and editing videos, I either fish or I wood cut or find something else to do. I work on fletching or something, but that's huge unlock, and it makes me look more like a pro. Yes, dude, thank you. <laughs> yes, drop the vial, pick up the berserker ring. Yes, finally, I have a something to put in the ring slot. I don't have a ring of wealth yet. Uh, I did make the elven ring thing, but now I got a berserker ring. 
Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Once again, guys, a shout out to Serenade helping me out here at DK's. I really appreciate him letting me solo Rex. Woo! <laughs> well, you guys, I think I'm going to call this a progress video. Uh, that's going to be it for, uh, what is this, episode 8. Already episode 8. Uh, the support has been insane. And I think we made a lot of progress in this episode. I know I said I wanted to get Elite Void. I tried to, but nobody else was playing Pest Control this morning. And uh, after getting a Berserker Ring, I really want to get this, this video out there. And we got the Dragon Axe as well. What a successful trip at DK's. Uh, I have 9 out of 10 drops of the uh, Dagonoth Rex collection log. All I need is the Warrior Ring from Rex. And I get 20 mil and Imbue Dust. So I do plan on going back. I'm going to get that 20 mil and imbue dust. Going to imbue the uh, Berserker ring. Just huge progress, guys. Let's go check out the bank real quick. I'll show you just the progress I've made in the, what, last two or three episodes? Look at this, man. Look at this. We have a fire cape. We've got crystal legs, barrels gloves, dragon defender, fighter's torso, full guffins, full carols. If you go over here to the, the, the range tab... Uh, like I said, we're still working on, um, getting elite void that will happen sooner or later. 432 manta rays, uh, just from PVM and 37 mil cash. There's just so much going on. So much progress. Freaking berserker ring. We got the elven signet imbued as well. Uh, basically almost two full sets of Guthans. Uh, it's just insane, guys. We got 76 uh, farming in this episode, as well as 84 thieving, 80 ranged. We went up, I think, 72 to 74 magic at DKs themselves. And like I said, got that dragon axe. Just so much going on. And I'm so happy and I'm blessed that you guys are watching my videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Leave your feedback down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure and feel free just to, to, to hit that like button, guys. I appreciate you very, very much. Cannot wait to see you in episode nine. Stay sweet. Take cares. <laughs> see ya.